All right, guys, so if you've been around the channel for any time at all, you'll know that not only am I a fan of TRM, but this is my trusty Neutron V2, and it is a pretty darn cool knife. And what I didn't know at the time when making my many videos on this TRM is that TRM actually watches the channel and they really dig that I dig their knives. So they reached out to me and sent me a couple of knives, both the Shadow and the Atom. Today, we're talking about the Atom, but also too, as a nice segue, this is also a chance for you guys to win one of these two knives. Now, currently at the time of you guys watching this, I'm running a poll on the channel to see which one the community would rather have because at, at because at the same time of like giving a knife to the community, I wanna make sure that it's the knife that the community actually wants. So it's either going to be the Atom or the Shadow, um, depending on what they vote for. But before giving it away, I thought I would talk about what, but before giving either of them away, I thought I would talk about both of them in their own videos. So like I said, today we're talking about the TRM Atom. And honestly, this knife is pretty darn freaking cool. And Basically, what the Atom is, at least for me, coming from the Neutron, this is the Neutron just scaled up. Now, I do think that originally the, the Atom was the core design and then they scaled it down for the Neutron. But for me, it makes a lot more sense looking at this design in its full form. Now, this is also a more updated version. So you'll see that it has a deep carry pocket clip that just looks a little bit more professional than this. I mean, this is certainly like, like I don't know, this is completely usable. This isn't like a problem but this definitely looks a cut above. So in addition to that, two other um, kind of noticed or noticeable differences is that you'll see that very similar to Spyderco, this knife uses a full inset or full inset liners. So it does still have full metal liners like the Neutron, but it is inset behind. So it's a little bit of a, a difference. And I think that for me, it doesn't necessarily affect the end user like functionality of this tool, but it does make it just a little bit um, more classy or looks just a little bit better. In addition to on the full sized version, like as opposed to the Neutron, the kind of backspacer here or uh, standoffs pretty much is what they are, look a little bit more evenly spaced because this is a little bit larger design. Now, one of the biggest things that I like about the Atom over the Neutron is the fact that while it's not super prominent, there is a designated spot for you to choke up on this blade. So I really like the fact that you can pretty easily choke up on the blade, get a good grip, get a good, you know, kind of um, area for your hand to rest naturally. In addition to, there is plenty of what I call sprawling space on the handle, um, definitely over the not cramped, but compact size of a Neutron. So this isn't necessarily a direct um, comparison video. I've actually already done that. But those are some of the biggest takeaways that I noticed with the Atom versus the Neutron. Now, things that I do still really love about this blade that are... Now, things that I do really love about this blade, especially because it is a TRM product, is they tend to use a very thin, nice blade stock of CPM 20 CV. So this makes it super slicey, super um, pocket friendly as well, because you don't have a very large or very thick overall blade to throw in your pocket and still also very, very lightweight. And those are all super big wins for me especially considering how high up this flat grind is. And it still is technically a flat grind, though I don't know, some people might categorize this as a full flat grind, but it is um, very, very high up. And once again, when you have a thinner blade stock as a whole, you don't have to uh, really worry about having to take off a whole lot of material before making that blade hair whittling sharp. So those are some huge things for me I really enjoy. I also love um, not just the action, but they enlarged the thumb studs. So this guy is, you guys can hopefully see here, super easy to just make this blade up fly out of the handles. So really do love that um, feature too. Yeah, uh, those are things that I really do love about it. Um, as far as it goes, so as far as it goes, there's really not too much more to say as far as like an awesome EDC blade goes. I definitely think that this is for daily carry, a superior knife to something like the Neutron because the Neutron is definitely a little bit more compact, a little bit more um, pocket friendly, you know, something that you can just throw in your pocket and forget. This one won't be as easy to forget about, but when you pull it out, out when you actually use it, it is very, very nice. In addition to that too, they still retained the handle um, 
like change operation or the fact that you can easily and readily swap handles. In fact, uh, TRM, when they gave me this knife, gave me an extra pair of micarta handles. So there's these nice kind of honeycomb or honey looking uh, G10 handles on here right now, but there's also a beautiful pair of red micarta handle scales that I have not thrown on this and will not throw on this until the giveaway happens because I want to make sure that if this is the chosen giveaway knife, that they get a nice, really, really good looking pair of micarta handles. And unfortunately, because micarta picks up, you know, like the oils from your hands and stuff like that so easily, I want to make sure that those remain intact. Now, if this one is not the giveaway blade, I will definitely throw those handles on because it looks very, very nice. So anyways, um, as far as it goes, the Atom is a really cool blade. This thing is definitely, like I said, shares a lot of similarities in design and feature to the Neutron, but it's very much its own blade. Super slicey though, super still pocket friendly. The action is fire. This one, of course, being brand new is not quite drop shut just yet, but for just running on um, phosphorus bronze washers, you can tell that this guy is very well tuned. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this look at the Atom. Um, I have carried around a little bit so far. It's still reasonably new. I'm not trying to carry this knife too much per se, but I can definitely tell you guys from the use I've put on it, from the carry I've uh, had with it, or I've carried it so far from the carry that I've done so far, it is pretty darn cool. So it definitely works very effectively. And either way, whoever gets the shadow or new or Adam is going to be very, very happy. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you are um, looking for that giveaway and it hasn't been like a year since you've seen this, or if you're not watching this like a year from now, basically, um, if you guys are wanting to look at getting into the giveaway, definitely check the most recent videos. Like I said, it's going to be in its own separate video from this video, uh, really discussing all of the workings of how that giveaway is going to work. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.